Scotland, a place where unbelievable beauty conceals unfathomable mystery. Deep inside the unexplained happenings unit, Scott Squad, Squire and McGill investigate real Scotch mysteries and gen up true crimes. They're normalizing the paranormal and transforming the inexplicable to splicable. Think of this as Scooby-Doo, but if Scooby-Doo had a Scooby. Which we do. Welcome to Scotland Unsolved. Did you watch Scooby-Doo? Loved Scooby-Doo. You definitely stumbled by the way. Do you think so? Ah, uh, you did like it. That makes you film a bit. Today we're investigating the big one. The Loch Ness Monster. Nessie. Nessie is like a dinosaur thing that lives in the loch. Described as having a rather long neck with a sort of pattern of humps that protrude out the water. I don't know if you know this, but you can actually fit the world's population into Loch Ness ten times over. But I can't swim. When we're investigating a case like this, when it's something like a, a creature that's unknown, we really need to start at the beginning and try and get an image of Nessie, because we need to know what we're looking for, don't we? Yeah, and there's lots of different images out there, so you don't want to confuse one with the other. As you can see, Miguel, in this e-fit, the pattern of humps are present, mm -hmm. the long neck sticking out the water, the big mad flippers, I can't really think of a word for them because they, they look a bit, they look like whales. People uh, like to project elements of themselves onto Nessie. I think maybe they feel a connection. Um, we have seen pictures and things with Nessie and like things like a, a Celtic scarf. How could a monster make a decision about what football team they support or what brand of cigarettes they smoke? Because I think there was a picture at one point of Nessie with a big be. That one looks the full shop dryer, is it? Absolutely. I don't know if you're aware of a, a, an app called Tinder. Mm -hmm. It's a date nap. A lot of people use the image of Nessie, you know, the shaft of the neck is dick pics. That there? Yeah, to basically zoom in, because she's got quite a long neck, so it does, say, Fair does make the guy kind of come off no bad. So they'll just zoom in on that. Our biggest concern after calculating that maybe she was as old as she was is that we were concerned interbreeding was actually going on. Mm -hmm. And this in turn can affect the animal. I don't know if you're aware of this, but interbreeding can actually cause a scaly eye. Now I think it'd be a club foot, and in Nessie's case, it's not got any feet, as far as we're aware, so like a club flipper or... Technology has been great in cases like this, um, especially because, you know, it's Inverness, it's quite a long way to travel. That's no Loch Ness map. I know. It's looking at your house. Are you? What's it look like? You can actually send your neighbour's house, I know. Oh, see her. That's that lazy cow next door. Maybe she never takes the bins out. Look at her. Have you got neck curtains? Oh, no, I need to be careful when I get dressed in the window. I'm always walking about in the scud, look. You could see that from here, couldn't you? And you can see right through the neck curtains. Get them off, by the way, they are stinking. I'm going to get some blinds in there pronto. We poured over the images. I'm telling you right now, I know for a fact that that's Victoria Park. We got to the root of the reports. Just going back to the eyewitness statements, do you know anything about the guy that actually gave in the statement? I hold on a minute. Yeah, it was a guy that runs the boat tours. I think that's the key to this case. And we found our verdict. For reasons of national security, we are not going to share our evidence with you that we found. Um, it's actually going to remain classified. This is a big part of tourism, and I think it's our job to absolutely protect that and protect Scotland. Um, for those reasons, we would never, ever divulge what we found. It'd be a bit like in your own doorstep or pissing in your own lock. From a monster in a lock to a case needing unlocked. The A75 is a stretch of road in Dumfries and Galloway that's had more supernatural sightings than any other road in the country. Scotland's most haunted road, allegedly, or creepiest road, because it's not just ghosts, there's ghosts, monsters and UFOs. Supernatural hat trick. I'm just going through this witness statement and right. basically there's been a ghostly sighting of a ghost hen that apparently flew into the window of a moving vehicle and then disappeared. Hold on, hold on. A ghost hen? <laughs> According to this witness, yeah. I, I don't believe that right away. Do you know why? Why? Because if animals were ghosts and they came back, then how come my cat Deborah's never came back to see me? I she love never that came cat. back? No. That's that. Forget it, it's not true. That cat loved me. If she was to come back, what would she have done? She would have been curling up at my feet and coming out of my bed and all that. And I don't want to talk about it, I'm getting a wee bit upset. Maps are a really useful tool in an investigation and we use them a lot, don't we? Yeah. And it was actually a map that put us on the road to potentially solving this case. 
Do you know how many pubs are on the E75? There's millions. Is there? Yeah. You see? They're really good at pinpointing areas, pinpointing specific bits of, you know, landmarks that we really need to focus on. They're also good at finding McDonald's and that for starving. Hello, is that a uh, cock and balls? Uh, sorry, cock and bull. Oh, no, it is the cock and balls. Hi. Miguel started phone bashing to help build a profile of the community. Just trying to figure out what kind of nights you have on there. You know, you do tributes. Yeah, OK. Oh, lovely. A Blobby Williams. So, is that just like a fat Blobby Williams? Two pound a pint darts night. I mean, that's, that's, that's great. It's absolutely your clientele. Oh, you get a free whiskey if you get 180. What time do you close that roundabout? 24 hour pub. So you have the A75 pub crawl, and what, what, oh, that entails a shot at 75 pubs, yeah, yeah. Just when I've got you on the phone, just to uh, let you know that on your trip advisor, it says one of the best pubs in Dumfries and Galloway. I think it's probably a spell mistake, yeah. Pubs, yeah, just thought I'd let you know. Two things became clear. We've got paranormal sightings and fantastic pubs. Could they be linked? Do you know what? We've cracked it. I think we were always going to crack it. I think about two minutes into this case we'd cracked it. I mean, we've heard some excuses in our time, but to blame a ghost or an alien for the reason why you could get off of your pal's boyfriend is, like, it's up there. <laughs> they're at it. You're drunk. You've made that up. They've went missing because they've got baby. They've no went. they went home. They're getting off with the neighbours on their own and they're blaming it on ghosts. So really, it's, it's, it's not fair to the ghosts and it's, it's not fair to your wife. Stop telling tales. The behaviour's just ghastly. Still doesn't explain the ghost hen, though. From ghosts in the headlights to lost by a big light. In Boxing Day in 1900, a crew land on Flannan Island to investigate why the lighthouse wasn't working. And when they reached the lighthouse, there was no sign of any of the three keepers. The door was closed, the clocks had stopped, the beds were unmade, and an overturned chair lay on the kitchen table. That's the criteria for announcing that someone's missing, then. They better not check my house. How's that mess? I never make my bed before I go to my work. Do you not? No. Well, that's clotty. Like, did they just... One of them just lose their <laughs> in there, do you know what I mean? They're in there isolated all the time and just had enough of somebody's crap pattern and just battered them. Or do you think the three of them did each other? Not like that, but do you think? No, I know what you mean. But they had together a long time. They probably just started doing each other's nuts. You would rip each other's nuts, wouldn't you? Oh, aye. He's no flush the toilet. He's no left apart. He's getting done in the night. Well, that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. That would drive you crazy, though, That would drive it? you crazy. Could it have been over a board game? Because it was around Christmas time. I don't know, a possible theory is that they were playing Monopoly at the time. I, mean, I don't know about you, but my sister is a fiend. Uh -huh. That brings out the worst in everybody, that game. And see if you're the banker, you need to watch them, because she goes to the banker all the time, do you know what she was doing? What was she doing? Bumping the money and hiding part lane under her arse. Was she now? Aye. Well, I mean, let's face it, imagine when a lighthouse situation and that happened to people like that. Raging. Raging. A good theory, but not the right one. Because Monopoly wasn't about for another three years. Neither was Mousetrap or Pie Face. Correct. Right, hold on, what about this? Giant birds. What, so do you mean they, they turned into birds or they were eaten by birds? Or? I think you're on the right track with an animal. Do you think? What kind of animal would have an affiliation with a lighthouse? I don't want that. Moths. Big moth. Big giant moth. Because moths are attracted to... A light. Light. Moth season, Christmas jumpers. It's, it's moth heaven. Hold on a minute. Listen to us. A moth came and took them. I know. This is just... It's ridiculous, well, isn't it? Just, we're speculating over... A, this is garbage. I need something to eat, I think that's why. <sighs> I don't think there's anything untoward here. I just think it's really, really sad. What's happened? So. Don't you? Mm. We discussed theory. After theory. After theory. But there was only one clear culprit. Mother Nature herself. So the conclusion of this case, after looking at all the evidence, is we've cleared up the mystery. And sadly, they've just been swept away by one giant wave. Yeah. And I think there's a message for everybody here. Surfing might be fun, but waves can kill you. I mean, if it wasn't for that giant wave, those people would be among us the now enjoying life. Oh, they wouldn't actually because that was like 100 odd years ago. I'm letting you off for that because you're pregnant.